Hello guys, Grand Bam here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get more FPS in Fortnite and overall just improve FPS on really any game, but it's mainly directed towards Fortnite. So I'm going to go ahead and show you off with the simple stuff real quick. Uh, as in, most people have their game bar, if you have Windows, game bar running. So go to settings, type settings in the bottom left hand corner of your PC, click on it, go to gaming, the gaming section, and this will usually be on right here. It'll be on like this. Make sure it's off and go to game DVR. This will usually be on as well. Go ahead and click that and make that off. And then you can exit out of that and you're good. Actually, we need settings again. My bad. Go to settings once again. Settings. Go to privacy. And go down to background apps. And this will be on as well. I've already done this guide, so everything's off for me. So it'll have let, app, let apps run in the background. All this stuff like Microsoft Store, Photos, Maps, Get Help, and stuff like that. And calculator, camera, whatever. We, we, most of us don't need that. Or most half of us don't even use that. So make sure that's off. And then you can go back again and go to System. And then go to Power and Sleep. And go to Additional Power Settings. And this will be on Balance normally. Make sure it's on High Performance. If you do not see High Performance, this tab will usually be down. Click it like that and it'll be right here if it's not up there. So that's how you do that. And then what you can do also is you can adjust your system settings for the best performance. So go to advanced system settings, which is right here. Go ahead and click on that. It'll load up this tab. It'll be on advanced. It'll have performance tab right here. Click settings and it will be on either let windows choose what's best for my computer or adjust for best appearance. Make sure it's on adjust for best performance. It'll make it a little, look a little bit ugly, uglier, but it's not too bad. As you can see, it does this to the desktop and pretty much looks virtually the same. So it's all good. Make sure that's uh, on best performance. And then the other thing you can do is if you have Chrome, load up Chrome and click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and go down to settings and scroll all the way down go to advanced settings all the way down even more and then you'll see these two will be on right here and what you want to do is make sure they're both off and then click the relaunch option that'll back right here and it'll just reboot chrome and then it'll no longer use more cpu power in the background so fortnite will be running faster and you can also do this with discord so if you guys have discord on your pc load up discord and go to user settings right here and then go to appearance and then what you want to do is hardware settings will be on but you want to click off and then click ok so it'll reboot discord once you turn that off and it'll no longer use cpu in the background so it says turn this off if you're experiencing fps drops in games so turn it off and you'll get more fps and then the other thing you guys can do is delete crash logs in fortnite so you'll load up this and click on the white bar right here and do percent app data percent and then you'll be here go ahead and click on app data in the same bar we just type that in so boom go to local and then go to fortnite game and go to save and then crashes and then there'll be multiple crashes here if you haven't deleted them in a long time but i only have one so i'm gonna go ahead and delete that and then you'll be good there what also you can do is exit out of this type run in the bottom left hand corner of your desktop run will be right here and type temp t-e-m-p type temp and then press ok and then stuff will be here if you haven't deleted them in a while as well as well as i said in the fortnite crash log so i only have one thing because i deleted them recently delete this and you'll be good because more st more storage thing will run faster etc it just goes that way pretty common sense and then after that you go ahead and empty your recycle bin so recycle bin usually on your desktop right click it press empty recycle bin and you sure you want to permanently delete these items go ahead and click yes you can search through it just double click it to see what you have in it just to make sure you don't have any sensitive files you want to keep but that's pretty much it i recommend just deleting all of it and what else you can do is we'll go into the bare bones of basically just getting more fps the most common methods now and those are my pretty much methods i'm going to show you one more thing before i load up fortnite because Fortnite's kind of a big game and hard to load up mid recording, you know, because I have a trash PC. That's why I need this guide and probably so do you. So here we go. Settings. Click settings right here. Once once you're in the Epic Games launcher, click settings and scroll all the way down. And then you'll see Fortnite right here. And click the down arrow. And then this box will be right here with nothing in it. 
I recommend typing this. This will be down in the description, by the way, so you can copy it if you guys need to. Do land play. Da or dash land play. So there we go. So dash or hyphen, whatever you call it. So land play, and then space, and then dash or hyphen again, and do use all available cores. Another space, and do dash or hyphen, whatever you call it. No splash. And then another one dash preferred processor and then however many processors you have which I have four I'll show you how to find that right quick right click on your this bar right here right click that click task manager and go to performance and click on CPU and then cores right here I have four whatever this number says right here you put in as the number right here and then you can do another space dash no texture streaming and that'll be good so all this remember it'll all be in the description put that in there and you can just press the back arrow and you'll be good and what else you can do to make your game render faster and do stuff like that is download unreal engine fortnite runs off of unreal engine so if uh if you download it you'll have all the assets and bare bones of fortnite so if you're dropping in tilted and your game's not loading in It'll probably load in if you install this because it has all the assets that it needs. So I recommend downloading this. It's just basically what Fortnite runs off of. So you'll have all the stuff that Fortnite needs and your game will overall run smoother if you download this. So I recommend installing Unreal Engine. It's in the Epic Games Launcher. So just install that and you'll be good. And now we can go ahead and load up Fortnite and I'll show you guys what to do over there. So here we go. Okay, once you're in Fortnite, you go into Battle Royale and just let it load. Let Fortnite load, do its thing. And here we are, we are in Fortnite. I am playing on stretch res. I'll show you guys how to do that after I show you what to do with your game uh, game settings to make your FPS go faster. Click on the top three bars in Fortnite and go to settings. This will work on all consoles right here, by the way. And make sure it's epic, off, off, low, low, low. That's the best in my opinion. It's what I recommend if you have an average PC like me. And But if you have a really potato PC, I recommend doing a far or medium definitely not medium actually far epic so epic usually it gives you a competitive advantage you see people from further away that's the only why i keep it on epic or else i would put it on far if it didn't have a advantage but i recommend keeping it on epic and all these stuff you can keep off for maximum fps the other thing you can do is disable v-sync sometimes it'll be on make sure it's off also disable motion blur, make sure that's off, and show FPS doesn't matter, you can keep it on or off. I just like keeping it on to see how much FPS I'm getting in game. And that's pretty much it for that section, you can also cap your FPS if you guys like. And that's pretty much it, now I'm going to be showing you guys how to get stretched res, and how that will make your game run faster and what it actually does to help you guys out. So here we go. Is that a Fortnite? Okay, now that I'm out of Fortnite, what you guys can do is first you have to make the stretch res available so if you have nvidia control panel this will work if you don't just keep playing on native it's fine you'll still have get pretty good decent fps uh, i'm pretty sure there are other ways to do stretch without nvidia control panel so look that up uh, i personally don't know i just know this way so nvidia control panel right click on your desktop nvidia control panel and once you're here make sure and go to adjust desktop size and position and make sure this is set on full screen right here this Mine's already set on full screen, yours might be set on aspect ratio or no scaling. Make sure it's full screen, and then change resolution, and then see so yeah, I have custom reses right here. Just press customize, create custom resolution, and whatever resolution you guys want. And usually what you can do, I have a 60 hertz monitor, as you can see, when, but when you go down to 1440, which is what I play on, which is stretched, I usually can overclock my monitor to actually put out 70 hertz, uh, instead of just 60 so that's also a plus side of playing on lower res you can see more stuff basically you're overclocking your monitor so there we go i got 70 hertz on 1440 and that's pretty much what you need to do there and then what you want to do from there go to the tool that will be in the description it's a link to this website open up chrome go to this link and it's basically the Fortnite stretcher because when you play on full screen Fortnite, you will get the most frames. Playing on windowed full screen does give you input, input lag, so I recommend playing on full screen. And then go to stretchtool.zip, just click this, and it'll download right here. I'm not going to download it because I've already downloaded it, but it'll download your downloads file, file probably. And then open this, 
And then she said, read me, blah, blah, blah. Just highlight all of them and extract to uh, whatever. I just did downloads. I extracted it to my downloads. And then you will get a file called Stretch Resolution Tool. Open it up. And then open up the Fortnite Stretch Res Tool. It'll open this up and it'll show you what your game is currently at. Mine is at 1440 by 1080. Yours will automatically be 1920 by 1080 unless you have a 720p. So then 1280 by 720. Depends on what your game is. It'll just tell you what your game is on right now. And then just change it to whatever you, you desire. So I just do 1440 by 1080. And frame rate limit, zero is unlimited. And then like stuff like 160, it'll cap your frames at 160. And But I usually just do unlimited because I like to see as most FPS I can get. So that's what I do there. And then you just press apply. It'll say it's done. And then you can close out. And that's pretty much it. And then your Fortnite should be running faster. I usually get around... 50, 60 frames, sometimes even 100 extra frames just by doing this. So it's definitely worth it just to get those 60 frames if you're on a terrible PC and stuff like that. And so just some additional info is actually like if you have a moving background, steam wallpaper, stuff that like moves around, that will give you less FPS in game. So I recommend disabling that. So I just usually use a PNG as my desktop as you can see. I just have this nature thing it, that will give you more FPS as well if you had a moving one before. And also, I forgot to mention the Fortnite high priority thing. Uh, let's say I'm too lazy to load up Fortnite right now. Sorry guys, but just go, once your Fortnite's up and running, load up Fortnite, go to Task Manager, and then go to, let's just say Notepad is Fortnite right now. So say Fortnite's running, it's doing its work uh, right here, but I'm just using Notepad as an example. And then you right click on Fortnite, go to go to details, and then you'll see two Fortnite things right here. It'll say Fortnite blah 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 dot exe and another one dot blah 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 dot exe. So let's just say these two are the Fortnite ones. So right click on both of them and set priority. Make sure it's high and then click high and then do the other one. Set priority high and then that's what you do for the Fortnite. I'm just too lazy to open it up. Hopefully that made sense. But that's what you'll do for that to get more FPS. It'll make sure your CPU is using more power towards Fortnite than any other program in your PC while it's open. So overall getting more FPS and stuff like that. So it's using more of your maximum capability of your computer. So that's what I recommend doing. And that's pretty much it. That was all my tips I really went through. Uh, I don't think I missed anything except for oh yeah no I didn't miss anything that's pretty much it so comment down below if you need any help with any part of the video like the video if it worked for you got you that extra frames dislike it if it didn't and tell me why in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best to my ability my discord will also be down in the description if you guys want to join that where you can contact me and stuff like that so remember comment down below if it worked or if it didn't work like or dislike if it worked or didn't work like I said and that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you want more of this type of content. I'm starting to upload more. I'm moving away from Roblox, starting to do Fortnite, because that's the thing I'm into right now. So, that's pretty much the end of the video. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped your Fortnite, made it run smoother, and you have better gameplay now. And that's, that's all I gotta say. So, goodbye. See you guys later.